Today we are talking about the old story. We are going to see why it is important to get over it and how to achieve that. So let's get into it guys. Hello everyone, my name is Al and welcome to my channel Simply Create with Al. And if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm here making manifesting easier for you, sharing all my tips and advice so that you can use them to create the life I've always dreamed of. And if you're in need of coaching or you want to join my Patreon group, go to my description box, all information's there. And today we're going to talk about something really interesting, so let's get into it, guys. Today we are talking about the old story, why we need to let it go, and I'm going to share with you guys how I personally do that. So, the thing with the old story is we cannot create new things with old assumptions, okay? And if you haven't healed from your past, if you haven't understood how it came into being, and you keep that old story inside of you, chances are that whoever your specific person is or which relationship you are trying to repair, if it's with money, health, your specific person, <laughs> family, friends, whoever, okay? Chances are that you are not even get to the possibility to repair that because those feelings of resentment, pain, limiting beliefs and so on, that repels, okay? That keeps whatever you want to manifest away from you. But when you try to heal that situation within you, you open the road for that to come in. It's like a clean slate. You are giving it another chance. You are not repeating the same old story. If you keep repeating the old story, if your specific person would come in into your life again, you would be extra aware of what they are doing because you are expecting them to be that person that hurt you in any way or cheated on you or you know, criticize you all the time, whatever it is. But not healing that old assumptions are going to create the same situation for you again. And that's not what you want. I am sure of that. For a new story to start, you have to let that old die. And for me personally, how I do that is I take responsibility they have done something that hurt me but that started in my mind with my fears with my insecurities with my assumptions with the expectations that bad things would happen okay then it shows up in my reality and the most human possible reaction is to blame other people for that but we are here because we understand manifesting. So we know that that assumption, that belief, that expectation is a script that we have written and they are just following through. So I have to go inside of myself and make peace with myself, okay? I have created that and as painful as it was, I am not a victim here. I have created that and I'm going to create something much better, okay? At the, at the moment, I didn't know better. I, you know, I let my emotions run wild. But now I am growing as a person and I know that I can change that. So when you take responsibility, you are not feeding any victim mentality. We are empowered and you are in a situation where you say to yourself, I am going to change that. So you forgive yourself if you have any feelings, okay, towards what you have created and we forgive them. What I like to do is I go within myself and I have, I imagine me and that person that did something that hurt me and I tell them I forgive you 
I forgive you. I know I have created that. Okay. And I am really sorry. I, re I, have, I am really sorry for having created that for us. Because I know whatever happened, it was not personal. You are not trying to hurt me. You are not trying to make my life miserable. That's not what you want. I know you love me. I know you care about me. And I am ready to move on. I am ready to let it go. It's done, okay? We don't have to, to worry about it anymore. That's how I do, okay? In, in doing so, I have had amazing results. Like, um, there was a situation where I wasn't even in contact with my specific person a long time ago. And um, that opened the communication line. And I'm not kidding. It took, I, I don't even know if it was the same day or the next day, but I really got a text from that person that it, it blew my mind. It really blew my mind because I never thought that would be that powerful. But just having that conversation and really letting go of that pain, that resentment was enough for that person to come back into my life. So I really tell you, you guys, try that. It is so important to let go so that you're not creating all the time the same things and you give yourself and your specific person a chance to build something new because you can. I know it is so easy to blame others, but when we believe in the power of our mind, the power of creation through our thoughts, we cannot take the good and leave the bad for others, okay? You need to take responsibility and to, you grow from that, you know, because you understand I have created that. So I'm going to be aware of my thoughts. So I'm, I don't put myself, me and my specific person in a situation like that ever again. I can only tell you guys, it is important to let your old story go so that you can get to the life that you want to have with your specific person, that you get to the life, your new reality with money, your new reality with health, your new reality with whatever you want, okay? It's important to understand the past does not define you. It will never define you unless you allow it to do so. So we change all the time and change is necessary, we are here to grow, okay? And it is okay to move on and let bad things behind us. So I hope this video helped you a little bit in your healing process and I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and we are going to talk soon. Bye guys.